see so no glasses or glasses All right, y'all, so on this conversation of the weather, something I notice a lot is conversations of controlling just about anything. Everyone wants to control something or the other. And that's an energy I've been transmutating out of the weather that's been so detrimental to everybody that weather being a weather of pain and sorrow is putting it too lightly it's not really about pain and sorrow it's more so the weather I guess the best way to say the weather, it's been rancid. And by rancid, it's been, it's pure, wow, that's crazy. Like, what would I call it from an elevated perspective? What what this weather has been. It's in pain. Yes, but do I give someone the grace of pain when they're empathyless? That's the thing. Like, I'm someone who reads the weather. I read the undercurrent. I read what's really going on in the system. And the more I psychologically break it down the more it comes to sense that it's not about insecurity. It's not about pain and sorrow. It's not about anything that they've made you believe through the art of not giving a fucking self-help. It's not about that. Like I said, it's it's worse than that. It's the person themselves. And the more that the collective is nothing the more it becomes easier, honestly. As someone who was emotionally manipulated into giving a fuck, too much of a fuck, to come to a place to know where I was made to care about things that just don't exist really makes me understand the weather and what the hell is really going on here. That's why when I discuss spirituality, I'm not coming from an easy place. I'm not coming from a place of, I'm going to be kind to you because I have empathy. That empathy I have is for myself. Therefore, the empathy I share is with God. Because my story, my love story is a very individual love story about my connection with God. A man who is the three things, man, God, and Satan. The weather has always made people choose either them or you. Them being God, God meaning control and power, or you meaning suffering Because you choose to be an individual. You choose to be in control of your own weather, your own current, the wind that becomes you. Now, I'm not saying that I don't agree with, or I'm not saying that I disagree with anything because when I have let go of the bullshit that was blinding me from the full expansion of my gifts. I totally agree with everything that's going on in the world. This is the way it must be. 
Black people have to see what is being done with them to understand their fate and their role in this world and how things flipped. And that's just one example. We can even go bigger than that. The world has to see how a small group of people with so much power is controlling the masses, AKA the weather. And you can't do anything about it. The world has to understand that what you think is against you is actually for you. The world has to see that if you're looking at life like 1% is the most you can achieve, when there is a full 99% of the pie uncovered, what the hell is going on in your weather <laughs> that makes you think 1% is enough? Now again, when the agenda looks at me and hears what I'm saying, they think I'm coming from a unicorn and shit mindset about love which is totally wrong. I'm, I'm not coming from that point. I'm coming from the point that love is in sh- extravagant and that it's real. It's so surreal the way I present it, the way I look at it, because I believe in the 100%. That 100% doesn't look like equality. It definitely doesn't fucking look like equality. That 100% looks like if you're homeless, you're homeless because you're supposed to be homeless. I'm rich because I'm supposed to be rich. Now, what we do with that is not in our control. That's the difference. That's the equality. That's what free will is. Free will is the acceptance that you are who you are and you are going to live out your fate the way you are destined to live out your fate yes i am i am very very fucking smart the world needs why i'm here what what is my destiny the world needs my intelligence to go from believing love in this weird fairy tale fantastical way that is just weird, bro. Like it's weird living my life and coming out of that matrix and realizing what the hell is really going on here and that that God is a mafia boss and we're all here to Fulfill God's fascinating mind, of course, yes. But then there's also certain things that have to be killed off. There's certain things that have to grow, like love. There's certain realities that just have to be. And if people just stopped fighting it and allowed life to play out the way it's meant to play out, it would just be easier. And that's what my weather is breezy. It's easy. Like, I'm not looking at the news mad. For example, Diddy, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Why should I care? That's none of my business. I spent two years of my life moving through shit of the matrix that just didn't... Like, when I look at it, I'm like, I'm not fucking TMZ. I didn't create any of this. I didn't do any of these embarrassing things that I'm talking about. Like, why the fuck am I talking about this? This is not, I don't want to talk about this. Like, I'm a fucking genius. Why the hell am I talking about someone else's perverted, demented way of living their lives? And realizing that I'm in control, literally realizing that, not just in my brain, like literally physically living it. I'm in control. I'm not going to sit and talk about fucking, oh, because of my skin color and because I like to 
change up my hair the way I like to change up my hair. We're having stupid conversations about how brown women prefer Eurocentric looks. Like, what the fuck? I'm European. Why am I having a conversation about that? I can do whatever the fuck I want to do. That's what I'm saying. Like, people are too distracted. But again, like, I could go in depth about that. But why the fuck would I go in depth about that when you are supposed to be distracted? That's who you're supposed to be in this life. You're supposed to be the dumb bitch complaining about the fact that you're natural and another black girl isn't natural and you're better than her because of that like (laughs) if that's what you want to talk about that's your destiny that's your fate i see people coming online there's this girl named princella that everybody's hyping up what has she said that is dynamic what has she said about love that is game changing nothing All she's doing is pushing the narrative that men are bad and every woman should be a lesbian. No. The issue's bigger than that. It's not about the nuclear family going to shit. It's about the individual going to shit. Ooh, did you think about that one? Yeah. People are now realizing the things I was talking about a year ago. About how the family is so fucked up. And that's the life of being a genius. Being aware of the weather before it comes to pass. And as it's coming to pass, watching what people do with the energy. And I'm watching someone like Jaguar Wright use the energy in a very fun, playful way. You're welcome. Jaguar Wright is having fun taking a narrative of heroism and manipulating the system into seeing what it means to be a hero without self-sacrificing one's journey. This is how I look at it when I see people like that. Yeah, I pick up on the selfishness here and there, and yeah, I pick up on the things that aren't necessarily kosher about what she's saying, But I like what she represents. I like that the agenda, the elite, have used a very average woman to show people that on average, anyone can do what she's doing. The elite is fascinating because Y'all choose to see them as bad people. And you know what? I'm going to include myself in that too because I am the elite as well. You choose to see us elite as bad people because we're too rich or in my case, we're too beautiful. Well, I'm I'm too rich and I am too beautiful at the same time. Yeah, I'm going to pick on the things that are most pointed about me is my physicality. You're too beautiful. Therefore, you can't be so intelligent. Therefore, you can't be so loving. Because we always see how the agenda has propagated the beautiful girl. She's mean. She's evil. She's out to get everybody so that the average girl can be the one who saves the world, saves the day, gets the guy, Ashe. Yet as an elite... I see how we are using averageness 
as a standard to debunk, to get rid of, to be completely erased and deleted. That's what's happening. You're watching the downfall of your favorite people because no longer is average the standard. No longer is the achievement of 1% the standard. It is about 100%. And this is where I come in. I have achieved 100%. I have accessed 100% of the mind because I have chosen to. Choices. The elite present the world with choices. I am a choice. A choice is a test. A choice is a test until you've passed the test. That is why school is about A, B, C, D. Yet the thing is school will give you everything you need for you to fill in the rest of the blank. School has taught you the basics. Memorize, study, do good, receive. But when you leave school and you realize, oh wait, oh shit, that was, that was the bare minimum. That is the real challenge in life. And that's why people get so mad, which is so funny because it is very apparent how obviously stuck you are. And by stuck, I mean no growth. Because the only way you can get to even 1% is if you have the courage and bravery. Do you see how they're training you? The elite is, we are training you out of childhood. Majority of the world, even in the elite group, is stuck in childhood. Majority of the elite are people who live from an imagination of destruction due to lack of love. And by seeing that love, I, Maureen, am not out to get you and not even out to support you. Literally, love is an individual story. Love is about self, self self-care. It becomes obvious that you have to support yourself and figure it out. You have to love yourself and you have to figure out what love actually means for you. And for some people, it is groupthink. For me, it's an individual story. And I will always stand by what I've always said. It is about you as an individual. And how intelligent are you as an individual to accept and live out your life? You really can't change the weather. You really can't change much in your life. Really, really, like really. (laughs) Like really thinking about it, I think it's so crazy. For example, looking at spirituality the way that they've gaslit it up and people are really following these principles like thought and all of these things. And yes, they are helpful, but at 100%, I'm laughing at it. Because I'm like, yo, that this is that's a whole game within itself. Reaching nirvana and then realizing that nirvana is not what spirituality taught you it is, is a mind fuck within itself. It's so funny. It's so it's so hilarious, like the oh my fucking god, which is why it's never ending, which is why it's It's bottomless in a good way. Not bottomless like drinks and then you have to deal with, you have to suffer the hangover. But like it's bottomless in that God's mind is just so fascinating. No, all you don't need to know is how to get money. If all you believe 
your concern should be is how to get money. You're at the bottom of the barrel and you're not going to get out. That's what people like Andrew Tate are trying to teach you how to get out. But as you can see, he's literally deep in the sunken place. <laughs> Andrew Tate is not getting out of anywhere anytime soon. Yeah, school is the bare minimum. School is the bare minimum. I'll be posting this video on my YouTube so you can go catch up on it there. Thank you. You're welcome. My brows are very beautiful. Bilal, I love that demon. Yeah, sub, sub, sub to learn, sub to know. Literally, that's it. <laughs> okay, y'all, I gotta go. Bye. Let's see you.